Hey, welcome back to No One Survived. Just going to check and see what these guys have been up to. That's not too bad. Anyways, uh, my plan for this one is to finish building this other recreational thing here. And then we'll see what their output becomes. I think I got a fair amount of that stuff, but the bricks and the concrete will be a bit of an issue. I'll have to make all that stuff. I might have some lying around, but... These guys are pretty stubborn when they want to go one direction. They go that with direction. So yeah, I'm just going to run in here, see what I got, and add what I can off the get-go here. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go do a bunch of mining too, but uh, I'll do that on my own time. And I think I am also in the next episode or two going to make myself a almost like a foundry room here, like for my um, for my ovens and my kilns here. Plus that would give me a chance to get rid of all this messed up inventory that drives me nuts looking at that all the time. So I'm just gonna cook up as much as I can while I can here. And I do believe five followers is the most you can have, so I can check that one off my list. Gotta reach an empty box here. Don't want to go that way and get caught up with those guys in that passageway again. I just checked my storage and I really didn't have too much stuff as far as like raw materials and stuff so I'll definitely have to. I did have some limestone in a backpack but uh, as far as the clay and that I'll have to go find it. But I guess what he did with that, um, with the little orb nuggets there, I guess that's not so bad because he, he used to take one square and only stack up to five, so now it's four squares and stacks up to 20, so technically it takes the same amount of space. The only time you get ripped off is if you 
have less than 15 or so in your inventory. Yeah, so I'm going to head off. I'm going to go do some mining. And once I'm done that, I'll come back to this. Well, it's been a few days, but I did get a lot of stuff. I should probably be able to make the... Um, the building that allows them to do foresting. Holy crap. Do they get a lot of stuff. I think I was gone four nights. But holy smokes. Just trying to sort all that's going to be daunting. So I just dragged my backpacks inside too. I got quite a bit of iron clay and uh, limestone and some rocks too. Just going to grab some of this so that I have room for them to fill it back up again. And I said it in one of my other videos that I bought a new mic. Uh, and the preamp I bought for it is not strong enough to power it. So I'm waiting for a new preamp to come. So sound might be a little quiet or a little more bassy or something like that. or Because I have to talk pretty close to the thing. But yeah, I think the next couple epi episodes for sure are going to be base related. I really need to start organizing this stuff. And I do have a couple more NPC buildings I think I want to build. And then I guess I should try my hand at the uh, farming type of stuff too, the greenhouse and all that stuff. I can't remember if I set my spawn point back to being at the base after I went and did that raider camp. So I figured I should just uh, set my spawn point to be on the safe side so that I don't die stupid and end up on the other side of the map again like last time. Thank <laughs> you. 
I should build another one of these and have uh, one making the clay bricks and one doing the cement. Oh man, I forgot to grab the five pots. Yeah, so I decided to make another one. I'm just going to throw it down anywhere because it's going to get moved once I do the little furnace room anyway. But this should help with the cement issue. Man, they just keep stuffing that thing. Yeah, I think the sooner I built the foresting one, 
It'll be nice to get a whole ton of logs. I think chopping trees is a bigger pain in the butt than uh, doing the mining. Well, the good news is, is the material I have for making that uh, cement and the concrete, or the bricks and the concrete, I'm going to have so much of it I'll be constantly making it while I'm doing other things in the future, so I should be able to pop up the buildings pretty quick after this. I wish there was an extended mag for the 44. This is where I'm going to build my furnace room. Off on this side. I don't have to worry about the uh, elevation of the land. I kind of messed around a bit on the other side, but... I, the most I could do was like three squares the same height, and then it was like I'd have to change it again, so... This is where it's going. I do have a feeling that the fact that I built the other wall on the other side on the wrong foundation. Might do a little bit of an issue here when I try and do a roof, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, I'm going to have at least three of each type of furnace going. And then I'll have uh, storage in there for just specifically for the ores too. I wish I could have chopped that other one down. Okay, while well, all that uh, clay bricks and the cement is cooking up, I'm going to get myself some trees here, get this platform built. I'll probably end up going and grabbing that cart that was empty there. Much easier to forest and throw the logs in there than do this. But anyways, I am going to call this one here. At the start of the next one, I'll have that other building finishing up. And I'll get this room built. And I'll organize my furnaces a bit. So thank you very much for watching. And hope to see you in the next one.